work you perform in Microsoft Excel is done in a workbook file. You can open as many workbook files as you would like, and Excel uses the .xlsx as a file extension. Each workbook is made of worksheets, which are made up of individual cells where you can add content, data, numbers, equations, or whatever else you may want to add. You are also able to add content outside of the individual cells by using tools such as charts, text, word art, and many other features that Microsoft Excel 2010 has to offer. In this simple Excel tutorial, we are going to help make you familiar with Excel workbooks and worksheets, which will be necessary to successfully understand all of the other Excel tutorials that we will offer. In the image that we are providing, we are showing the Excel screen, and we are labeling and describing each part of Microsoft Excel. The active cell indicator. When a cell has a dark outline around it, this indicates that the cell is active. Anything that you type will be entered into this active cell. The application close button. By clicking on this button, you will close Excel. If information has not yet been saved, a dialog box will pop up asking you if you want to save your work. The application minimization button. This button minimizes the Excel window column letters. The column letters represent each individual column. There are a total of 16,384 columns in Microsoft Excel 2010. The columns range from A to XFD. You can click on the column letters to select every cell within the column and make changes such as width, borders, colors, and more. The file button. Click on this button to get access to many different options available in Excel. Printing and saving files can be found here. The formula bar. The information you enter into the cell appears here. You can edit information in the cell itself or in the formula bar. The help button. Click on this button to get help or ask questions about Excel. Here you can find an index full of information that can assist you with your work in Excel. Minimize ribbon button. By clicking this button, you can minimize the ribbon if you need more space to work. Name box. This field displays the address of the active cell, range, or object. Page views button. By clicking on these buttons, you can change the way the Excel worksheet is displayed. Quick access toolbar. This toolbar allows quick access to commonly used Excel functions. The ribbon. This is the primary location of all Excel commands. Row numbers. Row numbers range from 1 to 1,048,576. By clicking on the row number, you can highlight every cell in the row and make changes such as cell color, borders, width, and etc. Sheet tabs. Each of these tabs represent different worksheets. By clicking on this, it will take you to a new sheet. By right-clicking on the tab, you can make changes to the sheets, such as the sheet's name. Insert Sheet Button. By clicking on this button, you can add a new sheet to the Excel workbook. Sheet Tab Scroll Button. You can use this to scroll through the sheets within your Excel workbook. This is especially useful with workbooks that have many different worksheets. Status Bar. This area displays many different messages, such as the status of Numbers Locked, Caps Locked, and scroll lock keys on your keyboard. You can right click the status bar to change the information that is displayed. Tab list. You can use this to display different ribbons. Title bar. This displays the name of a file or workbook. Vertical scroll bar. This scroll bar can be used to scroll through the sheet vertically. Window close button. By clicking this button, you will close the active workbook but not the Excel application. Window Maximization slash Restore button. By clicking this button, you can maximize the Excel workbook to fit the size of the entire application. If the workbook is already maximized, then nothing will happen when you click this button. Window Minimize button. Clicking this button will minimize the workbook and it will be displayed as an icon. Zoom Control. You can use this to zoom in and out of your worksheet.